to week six of this belly dancing intermediates course with me, Lindsay Marie Silver, here at Little Egypt Studio in Scotland. In this session, let's really enjoy practicing lots of the traveling steps that we've been learning and having fun with in this course. Let's enjoy delving back into a little bit of improvised dance with some live drum. And let's also say, do some shimmies. Let's have a look at lots of shimmies that we've got in our shimmy repertoire and we'll have that as a little bit of an introduction to the next course and I'll tell you a little bit about that at the end of this session. Thank you so much for being here. If you enjoy this class, please do subscribe to the channel, hit notifications, leave a comment, let me know what you've enjoyed most about this session. Let's dive in, woo! So let's come into our basic stance to start off with. Bring your feet into about shoulder width, hip width, whatever feels best for you. Bend to your knees, bring the hips into neutral, lift through the rib cage. Shoulders come all the way round and down. You can elevate through your arms if you want to. Then we're gonna start off with that slide of hip. Now I'm gonna assume that you are already fairly warmed up. But if not, of course, go on and do a little bit more of a warm up. Nice. A bit faster. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can bring a level change if you want to. Woo! Up top, slow. Really sliding that rib cage across. We can bring that fluidity of arms. Bring it into center here. One, two, three, four. Rib cage, two, three, four. Head, two, three, four. Back down. Yes. All right, so let's start to bring in that element of traveling that we've been working with. First of all, that slide of hip with the traveling forwards and traveling back. Nice. This one, that smooth serpentine flowing. A little bit faster, perhaps. One, two, three, four, four, three, two. Well done. So you can use this to travel a large space or quite small. Let's try this side motion. So you're gonna step and slide. Step and slide, step and slide. Other side. So making sure that on that pickup step, your hip comes all the way back over. And then, if you remember, we tried that on diagonal. So maybe place your hand on the back of your head. And you're presenting your hip on diagonal and you're stepping to create this diagonal line. We can also bring that back. Let's reverse the arms, bring it back. Well done. So it differs from just traveling out to the side. It's very much a diagonal. Let's try the other way. Maybe a little bit faster this time. Whee! So if I was side on, I would be like this right now. So we're here, bring it back. Maybe you could step it right through. Nice. Let's work now with the drop of the hip. Drop, drop, drop. So we spoke about the serpentine and the staccato element to traveling steps. And the setting that you might use each. So you might want to create a particular vibe, particular feeling or flow. You might want to accentuate part of the music. Maybe it's the rhythm of the drum or perhaps it's the melody. Woohoo! Let's bring it into center. Well done. Well, let's have a little bit of fun with some shimmies. 
and traveling. Whoa. Are you ready for that as a new concept? <laughs> or maybe it's not new. Maybe we've been working through this as we've been going, building up to this moment. Are you ready? Woo! Okay, here we go. Step to the side. Step together. Side. Slide together. <laughs> Step. Together. Step. <laughs> together. Nice. Step. Together. Into camel. Traveling with a camel. So you got that basic camel motion. Movement rolls down the body. And as your rib cage comes up and out, you're gonna step that foot forwards, step forwards, forwards. You can bring this in a circle if you want to. Step, 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 step. Lovely. Now, if you remember the cat walking baby. All right, let's bring it round. Maybe the slide. So that catwalk movement, remember we had said, well, you've got that basic traveling step where your feet one in front of the other, in front of the other, there is no change of gear. If it was a vehicle, it's an automatic. You don't see the gear changes. Okay, so. If you're anywhere other than the UK, you're probably thinking, is there anything other than an automatic? <laughs> anyway, so we like our manuals over here. Anyway, I digress. So what we're gonna do this time, if you recall, is we're gonna cross one foot over the other, cross in front of the other. Now this differs from an arabesque, which might come all the way out like this, all the way out like this. We're gonna have a little bit more fun with an arabesque in just a short moment. But first of all, we're just recapping through some of these traveling steps we've been enjoying. So you're gonna step that foot in front, step that foot in front. And then if you want to, you can roll that movement down your body in a camel on a single side. Wow. Maybe a bit faster. Woo! Do you remember a movement that we did in the last session? It was a tribal fusion traveling step. Tell me, let me know in the comments, how have you gotten on with the practicing of this one? Drop a little note in the comments and then dive in. Let's have a little bit of fun trying out that tribal fusion traveling step. We're gonna go here. You're gonna pick up through the ball of your left foot and the heel of your right, and you're gonna switch like this. Maybe hear my heels traveling across the ground there. Now what does make this movement easier is to wear something like foot gloves, which I am wearing here. These make it more comfortable. There's minimal risk to your joints. They're just nice to wear, they protect your feet. Anyway, if you feel like this would be useful to you, drop me a little note in the comments. I actually have some of these in stock right now. I'm gonna give you mates rates on those. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 So when you begin to really bring that up to speed, it's as though you're literally floating across the ground. Here we go. Woo! 
beautiful. Tra challenging traveling move but if you stick with it it's lots and lots of fun like I say there's elements of it in shuffling and in like hip-hop or break dancing okay another one that we had was an Egyptian walk oh my goodness do you remember the Egyptian walk so here we go we've got one two three pause back two three pause one, two, three, pause, back, two, three, pause. One, two, three, pause, back, two, three. One, two, three, back, two, three, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, 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 three, one, two, 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 three. Woo! Yes! Can you take it out to the side? Let's try. Take it back. Yes. Woo! Four, three, two, one. Wow! some of the traveling steps that we've utilized in various different combinations and so following on from here let's have lots and lots of fun with arabesque oh an arabesque this is perhaps one of the most graceful um this is perhaps one of the most graceful traveling steps i find um so this appeared into belly dance in around about 1940s, round about 30s, 40s, 50s, round about then, and it took its influence from ballet. And so as belly dance became more widely known, both in the Middle East and throughout the entire world, actually, um, dancers found that it would be not only useful but also very beautiful to incorporate elements of other dance forms such as ballet. And we spoke in a previous session about how this art form that we call belly dance is considered to be the oldest performing art in the world. And so you could argue that actually it's borrowing movements from its own roots which kind of your brain starts to explode when you, when you look into all of that. Um, the history and origins of it is very, very, it's so diverse and rich and fascinating. And I definitely encourage you to do your own research and see what you, what you feel, what you think um, is true for you. So anyway, with that in mind, the origins of this movement. I'm going to just show you a very basic, simple arabesque movement. And essentially, what you've got is a step forward. So let's step forward on our right. And then what you're going to do is on your left, you're going to use the momentum of that step forward, shift your weight onto that right foot. And with your left, you're going to bring that foot all the way around, sweep it around the outside and bring it forwards in front. Then you're gonna shift your weight into this leg, the left leg, and you're gonna bring the right leg all the way around towards the front. Now there are, of course, many different variations of this movement. This is just probably the most basic. So I just wanna show you that right now, and then we can have some fun with utilizing it in a more complex way, perhaps. So we're here, let's try from this direction. So you're gonna step forwards on that right foot, Shift your weight forwards, and then you're gonna allow that. Now, I find if I squeeze my glute here, it gives me lots of stability, but make sure you're strong in your core muscles and all the way around your waist so that you're really contained within the movement. Your balance will allow for you to shift, and you're gonna bring this foot all the way around. Now, you can either skim across the floor like this, 
or you can literally leave the ground and come all the way around. It depends what the feel of the movement is. Um, you would be using this mostly in oriental style belly dance, in cabaret style belly dance, um, in, in quite a more modern feel. Um, a more folkloric way to use it would be definitely to, to really pick that foot up and bring it round and almost add in a hop in a Saidi sense. So you're going to come forwards, sweep round, step forward, sweep round, step forward, sweep round, step forward, sweep round, step and sweep, step, sweep, step, sweep, step, sweep, step, sweep. And there is so many different arm patterns that you can add to this. And you can also pause to bring your foot out to the side before then bringing it round to the front. Pause, bring your foot to the side. Maybe there's an accent in the music here. And then you sweep round. Boop, and round. Boop, and round. Boop, and round. Boop, and round. Now, this is bringing the foot all the way forwards like this. Another really lovely combination to travel with a basic arabesque is to almost add in an element of grapevine, um, if you're familiar with, let's say, old school aerobics. <laughs> you maybe know the name grapevine, but it's, the, it's a dance movement. Um, you see, you'll see it in like jazz, you'll see it in lots of different styles of dance. So we're gonna add just a tiny flavor of a grapevine. So what you've got, instead of a step forwards and arabesque, what you're gonna have is you're gonna step cross in front to the side, in behind, and this time instead of arabesque with your foot coming forwards, you're gonna bring it round to the back, okay? So let me just give you, first of all, an example of traveling that leg back instead of forward. So we're gonna step, and then you're gonna bring this foot forwards and sweep all the way around, yep. Alternatively, you might already be in situ and you're just gonna bring that foot round. Step back, bring it round, step back. So this would be a step tr traveling backwards as an alternative, step back, step back. Okay, so let's come right forward now and maybe let's pop a little bit of music on whilst I just show you this. It's so elegant, it's so beautiful. that this piece of music has quite a traditional rhythm. Um, oh, here it is, the melody on top. Really works. Okay. So here what we're gonna do is we're gonna step in front, to the side, step behind, and then this left foot arabesque all the way to the back. Yeah, let me show you that again. We're here, get ready. You're gonna step the right foot in front, the left foot comes to the side, right foot behind, and the left comes all the way round. And then you're gonna step side, in behind, side, and then you could work arabesque here. So we got forwards, side, behind, arabesque. Yes? How does that feel? Does that feel nice? Front, side, behind, arabesque. Nice, you shift your weight back into this foot and then we can step front, side, behind, arabesque. Nice, let's take it back this way. So we're gonna step right foot in front, left, right, behind. Step your weight back, come into center. Other side, we're gonna step front, Side, behind, arabesque. All the way around, step your weight back, center. Other side, we're gonna step right, left, 
right arabesque. And turn this down a little bit. Let's try again. Are you ready? Let's try again. It's so beautiful and graceful when we get going with this movement. Okay, here we go. So let's take it right. We're going to step left, right, left, arabesque. Step your weight back. Bring this foot into center so you can add something in here. And then let's work to the other side. Right foot up front, left to the side, right behind, left arabesque. Shift your weight side. So if we add something in here, we might choose to step our weight back and come into a figure of eight. So let's try it to the other side here. So we're gonna step in front, to the side, in behind, arabesque, shift your weight, figure of a other side, step in front, to the side, in behind, arabesque, shift your weight, figure of eight in here, step your feet parallel, ready to begin again. Here we go, in front, side, behind, extend, shift your weight, figure of eight. Here we go, front, side, behind, extend, shift your weight, figure of eight. Here we go, one, two, three, four, figure of eight. <laughs> nice! All right, let me try this facing you. Ready? Here we go. We're going to step front, side, behind, extend, figure of eight. Bring your feet parallel, other side, front, side, behind, extend. Nice. All right, so you can carry on with that combination. Another alternative to simply bringing your leg round with it touching the ground. Of course, we gave the option of bring the foot to the side and then work something in center and then carry on, bring the foot behind you. Another alternative would be to actually leave the ground with that. You can bring in a little bit of a hop. So you're gonna hear you'll be working like this. You're gonna start in front, side, behind, extend, front, side, behind, extend, front, side, behind, extend, front, side, behind, extend. So that you can either completely leave the ground or you can literally just lift your heel up and lower it back down. So this works particularly well with oriental style or the golden era of belly dance, old Hollywood. And it also works very well as an addition to a modern Saidi piece. Um, speaking of which, well, let's move on and have a little bit of fun. It's been a while since we've danced with some improvisation to the drum. I thought we'd just bring a little bit of a flavor of that back in just to keep you in touch with that aspect of the dance. And it's something that we don't always have an opportunity to work with nowadays. And so I thought, why not? So if you're new to improvising with the drum, Welcome. <laughs> the first time you do this it might feel a bit challenging and trust me, from then on, you'll just want to do it more and more and more. You'll become more and more confident and you'll get more and more from it. Um, it's a co-creation. I don't know what I'm going to play and well, I have a rough idea, just the framework of the rhythm, but I don't know how it's going to come out. Just in exactly the same way that you don't know what you're gonna dance. You don't know how that is gonna be expressed. Um, so it's an opportunity to just be and have fun and of course start from a place of being up in your mind because perhaps you want to bring some of the movements that we've just done or movements that we've done in the course or maybe you just want to bring your own movements that really work for you in quite a somatic dance way, dance for the sake of healing, dance for the sake of movement. Um, but yeah, what, whatever comes, just know that there's no right or wrong answer. In fact, there's only right. You can't really get this wrong. And from there, let's take a deep breath in. 
And as you breathe out, just take a moment to sink down and relax your shoulders and relax your hips and relax your feet, your knees. Relax your mind. Focus on your breath. Softening, notice your connection to the ground and feel yourself within your body and then in your own time. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. And uh, you might feel like the passage of time there stretched out. That might have felt like a really long time to you. Or it might have felt like it went by in just the blink of an eye. Um, that was literally just a minute or two, if that. And uh, you did amazing, you did amazing. In our live class here, lots of different things happening. And there is so many different ways to express that because it's your own interpretation of it, isn't it? And the roots of belly dancers do really strongly land. They're rooted. We are rooted in improvised music and improvised dance. So it's so, so important to you as a dancer to involve live improvisation in your journey. Um, it's the essence of things, isn't it? It's the essence of nature. I mean, nature kind of loosely has a plan, but I mean, no trees are exactly straight, are they? Okay, so, wow, that was amazing. It really gets your creative juices going, doesn't it? And so from here, we are going to move on and enjoy some shimmies. We're gonna start off slow first and build our way up. Here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, let's start with the drop of the hip. Let's make that hip drop a bit faster now. A bit faster. So this one, basic Egyptian shimmy, just working through the knees. Knees are soft and relaxed. <laughs> Woo, yes. Okay, let's move on. Let's have some fun with Moroccan shimmy. You're gonna twist through the hip. Twist the hip forwards and back. Twist, 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 twist. And feel that through your abs, through your waist, through your back. 
Make that a little bit faster now. Woo! Try to keep your upper half nice and still. Make it slow. A bit faster. <laughs> Yay! So we have that basic Egyptian knees. Moroccan. Woohoo! And then well, let's move on. Are you ready for this? Here we go. We're going to work with the Egyptian walk, which itself contains the shimmy. Here we go, here we go. Go one, two, three. Back, two, three. One, two, three. Back, two, three. This is a really popular movement to focus some practice on. All right, let's take that up a notch. Are you ready? One, two, three. 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 Or you can count three. 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 Are you ready? Here we go. Three, 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 three. Here we go. Woo! You can keep that on the spot if you want to, or you could travel it. Try to keep your upper half nice and steady. Egyptian. <laughs> Woo! And then what we got? Shoulders. Woohoo! <laughs> we got one last year. We're getting faster and faster. This is the fastest one we got. Here we go. We're going to add to this. We're going to add to this. Choo choo! Here we go. Up on toes. Wow. <laughs> Moroccan. Twist the hip forwards and back. Egyptian walk. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Shoulder shimmy. Choo choo. Incredible. Well done. Gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. <sighs> wow, wow, wow. And so, if you enjoy that repertoire of shimmies, you're going to enjoy the next term because we're going to be doing a lot of work with our repertoire of shimmies, really building that up. I've got some new fun shimmies to share with you, ones that you might not have done before, combinations involving shimmies that you most definitely will have done before. Lots of fun, lots of body conditioning, toning, strengthening, and it just feels amazing. It's also wonderful for your well-being. All right, and a lot more besides. We are doing a lot more besides, so stay tuned for that. Here we go. Let's bring our feet about hip width apart. Bring your hands up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, we're gonna just bring our hands to our hips. Gently sway the hips out in release. 
time you're going to bring your hip out to the side, bring it back. Bring all the way out to the other side, bring it forwards. You can take that around the other direction if that feels good for you. In its center, you can bring a gentle, soothing camel, a releasing camel for your back. One more, perhaps. Bring your hands up towards the sky. From here, you're going to bring the hands around, frame the belly. Take that on diagonal, bend through your knees a little, perhaps. Pivot through your hips. We're going to come up through center, gently unwind through each individual vertebrae. Other side, take it all the way around. And bring it round on diagonal. And back up through center. Roll through your shoulder. And bring your hands up towards the sky. Thank you so much for being here, for joining me in this course. If you're joining us on our YouTube channel on this re-upload, thank you so much for being here. If you didn't subscribe to the channel already, feel free to hit that button, turn on notifications, leave a comment. We'd love to hear how you've enjoyed this course. And all my Patreon ladies, thank you so much for all of your support. And if it wasn't for that support, these classes would not be happening on YouTube and they wouldn't in fact be happening at all. <laughs> So thank you for your continued support. If you're interested in getting involved in that, it's patreon.com forward slash Little Egypt Studio. I love you. I'll see you soon. <laughs>